Okay. Hello, everyone. Um, so this video is going to explain what is the difference between a depositional and erosional landform. So we're just going to look at lots of different pictures of the coastline around the UK and decide whether erosion or deposition caused that landform. First of all, though, we need to remind ourselves of the different types of waves. So two great pictures of waves here. Top left hand one. Okay, very powerful waves. Okay, you wouldn't want to go swimming here. Be quite dangerous to go swimming there. These are our dangerous destructive waves. Okay, they're going to cause um, some problems. Here though, bottom right hand corner, very nice calm sea. Okay, the kind of sea you'd like to go swimming in. These are our calm constructive waves. So, but what is the difference in terms of the physical processes? That, they, that happens in these types of waves. So our first picture, we've got these powerful waves that are hitting against the stack here, hitting against the cliffs. Okay, this picture is the west coast of Ireland. These waves, okay, the wind has been traveling across these waves since America, big fetch. We've got some destructive waves here. These destructive waves, they're gonna cause erosion. They're gonna hit against the stack, they're hitting against the cliff, they're weakening it, okay? They're gonna break it down, they're gonna make it smaller. They're gonna remove bits of rock that have fallen off the stack, okay? They're gonna take it out to sea. It's gonna be transported away. So here, okay, erosion is happening and erosion is the breaking down of rock by a moving agent. In this case, the moving agent is the sea. Okay, so destructive waves cause erosion, and that is the breaking down of the rock. Right, next, here we're now in Cornwall, okay, south of the UK. Great calm beach here. You want to go swimming, okay, maybe you want to go for a nice walk or run along this great beach, or sit and read a book, okay. It's a nice calm place to be here. Calm, we're going to have our constructive waves. These constructive waves are going to create deposition. Okay, they don't have much energy, these waves. They're not very strong. Okay, they can't carry the sand. So there's lots of sand in the sea. Okay, the waves don't have any energy anymore to continue carrying the sand, transporting it. So they drop it on the beach. They deposit it, creating this beautiful big beach here. So just a reminder, your deposition is a dropping of sediment. So in this case, Okay, the dropping of the sand that's created this beach. Right, so what physical process is currently happening here? Is it erosion or deposition? So we're going to look at the type of wave. We're going to decide if erosion or deposition would be happening. This, we're now on the east coast of the UK, in Wilberswick. So got very flat sea. Again, looks great for a swim, nice and calm. Okay. It's constructive waves, it's gonna be deposition. These waves have dropped these pebbles here when they've come in, they've dropped this sand, okay? And they've created this very nice beach. This one, look at this powerful wave hitting against this rock, okay? That powerful wave, it's gonna force the air into the cracks that we can see here and widen those cracks. That's what we call hydraulic action. It's going to create erosion, okay? It's breaking these rocks down, okay? Even more, it's weakening them. If this carries on for days, okay, eventually maybe some bit of rock might fall off, okay, into the sea, and the sea is going to take it away because it's so powerful. It's removing um, the bits of rock. And this cliff face will become smaller and smaller. And we can see here, okay, before this bit of cliff would have been as tall as this bit here. Okay, so this bit of cliff has already been eroded down. Okay, the sea over hundreds of years has taken away the rock that would, would have been above there. Okay, it's eroded it away. So here, the destructive waves are causing erosion, removing the sediment. Okay, here again, look at these powerful waves. You're not going swimming here. Okay, far too dangerous. The waves hitting, this is Durdle Door in Dorset, hitting against this which is um, an arch okay look they're even forcing their way through the middle of the arch okay every time it hits against the rock here okay it's going to weaken it 
okay, and cause eventually cause some erosion. It's going to break that rock down, okay. We know that erosion has already happened here because there's a hole in the middle of the headland pit, which is what we call the arch, okay. That rock's already been removed. It's been eroded away, okay, by these powerful waves. So here, erosion is happening. Lastly, we're going north, okay. We're in Scotland now on the Isle of Mull on the west coast of Scotland. Look at this, what a beautiful beach, okay? Beautiful, clear, blue, calm sea, nice, white, sandy beach. These calm waves here, they don't have any energy. They're causing deposition. They're dropping this white sand onto the beach, creating this beautiful, wide beach, okay? For you to go and sit on, read a book, admire the beautiful landscape. So this picture, deposition is happening. The waves are calm, they're constructive. Okay, so we've now recapped erosion and deposition. We just need to think about now what a landform is. So it's a natural feature found in the landscape and we find them everywhere, okay? All different types of landforms. Here, still in Scotland, in the Highlands, these mountains or these hills, okay, they're landforms. This valley here, that's a landform, okay? So all of these physical features, they're landforms. On the coast here, these stacks, okay? These bits of limestone here that have been eroded away, they're landforms. The cliff, the limestone cliff here, that's a landform, okay? It's a natural feature in the landscape. We didn't make it, okay? Nature made these, um, these features and they are landforms. So the stacks, the cliffs, everything. The little beach here, that's a landform. Here, back to Dirtle Door. We're going to see Dirtle Door a lot today. Okay, loads of landforms. The arch here, probably the most uh, distinctive landform here. Okay, that's a landform. It's a nice feature there in the landscape. Here, this is a headland sticking out. That's a landform. These little hills, they're landforms. The beach is a landform. Okay, so anything found, natural feature found in the landscape, that is your landform. We find them everywhere. Um, so now we've got an idea of what a landform is, we can now think about what an erosional landform is or a depositional landform. So our first example is an erosional landform. We know that erosion means sediment has been removed, it's been taken away. So here we've got our headland and our bay. Okay, remember to form this, okay, this land this has been eroded, it's been taken away. Before, okay, erosion happened, all of the land, the um, land would have been up to here. Okay, this would have all been land. There would have been no beach here. The sea wouldn't have got this far. This would have all looked just like this bit here, okay? big bit of rock with some trees growing on it, okay? Then the destructive waves came along, they were hitting against this rock, which would have been soft rock, okay, less resistant, would have eroded it, okay, taken it away out to sea, and the land started to move, to go backwards, to recede. So this was formed by erosion, the headland and bay, okay? Because the land, the sediment was removed, it was taken away, okay? So that is an erosional landform. So we need to remember an erosional landform is when the sediment has been taken away. The rocks have been broken down by destructive waves. Here, back to Dirtle Door again. So our arch, okay, we can see, see through there. These destructive waves, they're hitting against the arch. They are removing bits of sediment, okay? They're breaking the rock down. They're taking it away, okay? So this is an erosional landform, okay? An arch mm -hmm. is an erosional landform, okay? Sediment has been removed, it's been taken away. Okay, our depositional landform, much calmer. Here, okay, this is a picture of the spit. Okay, this sand has been deposited, it's been dropped by some constructive waves. Okay, mm -hmm. creating this wonderful spit. 
okay so a depositional landform sediment is dropped okay and that will mostly be um sand okay might be some pebbles on the beach okay but if you've got a bit of sand like this that is going to be deposited there okay so therefore it's a depositional landform the sand has been dropped okay we're going to look at this picture again i just told you that the arch is an erosional landform okay but we can see in this picture we've got calm waves so on this day okay deposition was happening in the other picture we looked at erosion was happening it had destructive waves on that day but this calm day okay we can see there's people on the beach enjoying this lovely day the sand is going to deposit material here and it's created the beach so the beach is a depositional landform so sometimes you might get in one area, you might get erosional landforms, such as the arch, which has been formed by the sea removing the sediment. Okay, so here would have all been rock at one point, it's been taken away. Okay, so that's an erosional landform, the arch. However, in the same landscape, you also have deposition happening on, on other days. Okay, and that's created this beach, which has been formed because the sand has been dropped there. So a beach is a depositional landform. Okay, so this is a question we need to answer. What is the difference between a depositional and erosional landform? Depositional, sediment is dropped, okay, by the constructive waves. Erosional landform, the sediment is removed by destructive waves. Okay, so when you see a picture of a landscape, of a coastal landscape, okay, you need to think about was that formed by the rock being broken down and taken away? If so, erosional. If the landform was formed because sediment was dropped by constructive waves, okay, then it's going to be a depositional landform. So, using okay, what we've just learned, you've got five landforms here. Stacks, bits of limestone here. A beach, okay, that lots of people are enjoying. Headland and Bay, a bar, which is a spit of sand here, and a spit. You're going to draw a quick table, erosional landform, depositional landform. Okay, put them in the correct column. Remember, erosional landform, your rock, your sediment has been taken away. The depositional landform, your sand, and your sediment has been dropped to create that. So, three minutes, pause the video, off you go. Okay, hopefully you got these answers erosional landform which is your stack and your headland and bay okay if erosion hadn't happened this all of this would have been limestone there'd be no gaps between these stacks here okay so the waves have hit against these stacks and they have taken away bits of the rock okay they've eroded it away okay so your stacks are erosional headland and bay if erosion hadn't happened Okay, there wouldn't be a beach here. This land would be all the way out here. Okay, the sea wouldn't start until there. Okay, erosion, the waves, the destructive waves have broken down the rock. They've removed it and created this bay. Okay, so Headland and Bay are erosional. Right, your depositional landform, sediment's been dropped. To create this, oh, sorry. To create this beach, okay, sand needs to be dropped. And that's what's happened here, okay? Constructive waves have dropped the sand to create the beach. Here, a spit, okay, what well, a great spit that is, beautiful that one in Norfolk, okay? Your sand has been dropped in the sea, 
okay, and created this spit, which has been there for so long now that actually some grass and some vegetation, some plants have started to grow. Right, your bar, okay, a bar is just an extended spit, okay, the sand here has been deposited by the sea, okay, and created that bar, okay, if deposition hadn't happened, okay, there would be no sand there, okay, and this bit of water and this bit of water would be connected, so say the sea and the lagoon would be connected, but a bar has been formed by deposition. So, make sure you've corrected any of your mistakes please okay right the last thing we need to do is an exam question so these three marks together you're going to give yourself three minutes to answer them okay i'll just read them through with you pause the video answer the questions once i have gone through so identify one erosional coastal land form in figure one this is figure one in figure one, there are depositional and erosional landforms. Okay. You need to identify the erosional landform. So which one has been formed by the removal of sediment? Question two. Okay, explain one way geology has affected its formation. So your answer to this question, you are going to then explain how geology has affected its formation geology remember is a type of rock so three minutes pause the video off you go okay so your answer identify one erosional um landform okay in figure one that is your headland and bay Okay, one mark if you got that. Explain one way geology has affected its formation. Geology, the type of rock, so the softer, less resistant rock is more easily eroded, creating a bay. So one mark for saying softer rock is less resistant. Second mark for saying soft rock is easily eroded. Okay, that is everything. Okay, hopefully now you have a better idea of which landforms are erosional and which landforms are depositional.